welcome back to Alexander. So I'm just doing a voiceover to let you guys know what um I have in the video clip. I have a balloon. I have some yarn. Um, definitely gonna need a tablecloth for this craft, and you're going to need some petroleum jelly. And I went ahead and greased the balloon so the yarn won't um be as tacky or sticky on the balloon. Okay. Um. That's me showing you the yarn. We have a pair of scissors as well to clip the yarn. Just showing you the balloon again. Okay, and we have our glue and water mixture, and we also have a spoon. So you're going to need about uh, three-fourths to a uh, half a bottle or a whole bottle of glue, depending on the size of the balloon. And you're going to need a cup of water to complete this project and a bucket to mix it all up in. And that's the texture and consistency that you um, want your mixture to be. So just make sure it's not watery and it's not too thick and... You should be good to go with your mixture, guys. So right now I went ahead and I dipped my string in some glue. And you can see it's quite sticky. So hence we have the um, petroleum jelly here. So what you want to do is wrap this around your balloon at the bottom. And okay. just make a small little knot. A knot there. And we can begin to wrap. And I'll probably end up having to brush a bit more glue on here, but you can just wrap like so and just make a nice little pattern. And you should be able to have enough um, glue on your strands as to where to leave this in there. Just take this out a bit. And we're just wrapping however we see fit. Okay. All right. Keep on wrapping. So this is the next day and um, our balloon has had time to dry for about uh, 24 hours. <laughs> There's a few spots in it that are, you know, that are a little gapped to me, but we're going to roll with this and see how it comes out. But um, these are the ingredients that we use. If you didn't catch those, um, petroleum jelly, you're going to need a bottle of glue, you're going to need about a cup of water, okay? And then you're going to need a bucket and a spoon to mix the water and the glue with. And a pair of scissors will help. And you're definitely going to need yarn and a balloon. Okay. So, <sighs> the big reveal. Let's get ready. Alright. So, I'm going to try to make this as, um, Not as noisy. Okay. Anything happening here? Hold on. And it helps if you just try to separate your balloon. I'm really trying to get it popped 
I was trying to um, do it to where it wouldn't be so loud, but I may have to go ahead and pop it. So, oh. you know, if you just um, kind of just get the yarn uh, uh, sticking when it's dry, like that, just press it down a bit, press the balloon from the yarn because it's kind of molded. It's been molding overnight. So, I'll be right back and we're going to um, make this louder. Thank you, Alright guys, so minus the balloon, uh -huh. this is the finished product. Okay, we got a few gaps, we got a few holes, but... You Otherwise, some... you make a light. There you go. Party light. <laughs> and you can add whatever you want to in here. Um, a garden, a flower, a little note of advice. If you can deflate this or collapse this, but if you wanted to inflate it, again, all you have to do is um, find an area in here where you can blow up the balloon. But this is a nice little decoration for you guys, okay? So, I love it! <laughs> <laughs> if you try this out, yes. just tag Alexander and let us know how your project came out, and we want to see pictures. All right, you guys have a great day. Thank you.